Ginger comes in and she just be pulling up on inflammation like, what happened? What happened? That's Ginger. Ginger is your friend. Ginger's the homie. Ginger is your girl. Ready? Are we ready? Yeah! Welcome to another YouTube video. It's your girl Ariel Simone. I am a holistic nutritionist. I teach people how to eat for energy, how to have a positive relationship with food, and also how to discover who we are as emotional eaters. Because you know we. <laughs> Okay, a lot of us are emotional eaters, so it's all about making sure that we're eating in alignment with how we want to feel, we're eating in alignment with our wellness goals, we're being a lot more intentional with our diet and our lifestyle habits as we are stepping into who we say we want to be, period. Okay, so this video is all about sad season, and if you don't know, sad season is seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression. It usually happens a lot in the winter time or like the fall leading into the winter. I personally experienced it over the summertime the summer was really really hard on me mentally and it was just it was really hard for me to navigate through certain things but one thing that helped me a lot was changing my diet making sure that I was very intentional with my gut health going to therapy and getting quality sleep that definitely improved the quality of my life and my thoughts the more sleep I got my nighttime routine I finally mastered a nighttime routine so it's 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 the small things that make big waves big changes big waves so had to get into that but yes y'all this blog is all about sad season so seasonal affective disorder seasonal depression it usually happens between fall leading into winter sad season is also when the weather starts to change it starts to get a lot more cold it's when we start to lose a lot of light hours so it starts to get dark around 4 30 p.m that's really early to go from the sun going down at 8 p.m all the way to 7 and then 6 and then 5 and then 4 30 it takes such a huge huge toll on your mental health it's easier to feel like the day is over like let's say you wake up at nine o'clock you're like damn 3 30 is starting to get a little a little dark and at four o'clock it's getting darker and 4 30 it's already dark so it does take a toll on us feeling more productive and accomplished throughout the day this is the season where our bodies are more susceptible to getting colds and getting the flu and we don't want that we want to make sure that our immune system our gut health and everything is strong healthy active and protected that's always to go we don't we don't want to get sick this season that's not what nobody want so and does my, my skin look okay y'all is this good lighting please let me know in the comments so this video is all about holistic therapies to get us through sad season i did a video on tiktok and on instagram about this but i just feel like two minutes three minutes is not enough i wanted to make this a little bit longer and really really talk to you guys about sad season and how to really take care of yourself during the season just to make sure that we're not feeling depressed we're not feeling sad or down or mentally ill not met or not mentally equipped because we are mentally equipped we are resilient we are emotionally disciplined and we can step into taking care of ourselves more this season so that's that's, that's what's happening number one number one number one a morning routine and i know you're probably like oh she's always talking about a morning routine but how you start your day is how you start your life your morning routine plays such a huge role in your product your productivity throughout the day your energy how you feel about yourself your self-esteem if there's anything i can say when it comes down to a morning routine is to stop jumping on your phone first thing in the morning it is so toxic we and everybody else's business before we even check in on our legs like we don't even know if our legs work but we in everybody business and if you are constantly on social media first thing in the morning that could be a sign that like you're seeking connection you're seeking intimacy you just want to feel in the loop and the best place to feel in the loop is with yourself first so just check in like am i thirsty am i dehydrated do i need some lemon water do i need some ginger do i need a good stretch wow my body's achy right here maybe i need to just stretch out my neck my shoulders just check in with yourself or maybe i need a quick workout i need something to get my energy levels up maybe i don't need caffeine maybe i don't need coffee right now maybe i just need to get up and just do three burpees <laughs> 
maybe that's what I need. Like, you know, but maybe I just need something a little quick. It's just checking in to see how you feel. Maybe you want to read first thing in the morning. My morning routine looks like, so I have different levels to my morning routine. I have a 60 minute morning routine and then a 90 minute morning routine. And if I'm really, really in a rush, that girl is 30 minutes. She, she quick with it. So my 90 minute morning routine, which I like to call tier one, 20 minute journaling, 20 minute reading, 20 minutes or like 10 and 10, I like to do meditation and 10 minutes of prayer and setting my intentions for the day. Then my last 30 minutes in a 90 minute routine is all catered to movement. So I either like to go on a morning walk for 30 minutes or I like to do Pilates or yoga in the house for 30 minutes or I just go to the gym for an hour. But no matter what, the morning routine looks like a solid 90 minutes of mind, body, soul. Just checking in with mind, body, soul and seeing how I feel and seeing the things that I might need for the day. And what helped me the most in my morning routine was having a nighttime routine. I just, just mastered a nighttime routine so I'm very proud of myself round of applause and your nighttime routine really does set you up for the win for the morning routine it just puts you in a space for you to like wind down and I also like to do mind body and soul when it comes down to a nighttime routine I'll talk about that in another video but yes like just making sure you have a nighttime routine and a morning routine that helps you constantly check in with how you feel and what you need next every single morning we need to be consuming ginger now you have two options that you can do this you can do a ginger shot which is my personal favorite i like to do ginger turmeric black pepper all in a shot i make sure that i have the same equal parts of ginger and turmeric and then no matter how much turmeric i have i put one fourth of black pepper to that because our bodies cannot absorb turmeric properly or fully without black pepper we need the piperin and black pepper in order to properly absorb all the turmeric and the cumin that's in turmeric so need that right and what i like to do is i like to do ginger turmeric black pepper and if I don't do that in a shot I like to add it to my tea along with cardamom so my tea will look like a ginger tea bag with black pepper a little bit of turmeric powder if I don't have like the root turmeric on me and then I like to add a little bit of black pepper and cardamom so that's my tea recipe ingredient every single day ginger is really the reason why my skin glows it's why my energy levels are up it's why my gut health is good like I literally Literally blame ginger for everything because I take it every day seldom do I get a cold seldom is my stomach as inflamed as it used to be ginger comes in and she just be pulling up on inflammation like what happened what happened that's ginger ginger is your friend ginger's the homie ginger is your girl so absolutely always have ginger in the crib my three staples to always have in the crib is ginger garlic and turmeric like they they just serve well in smoothies and juices and soups and broths and saute dishes and pastas they just they come in they're the haymakers of everything so highly recommend always having that in the crib next we gotta really start talking about diet our diet is supposed to give us energy not take it away let me run that back our diet should be giving us energy not taking it away and what that looks like is making sure we're eating a lot of root vegetables this season so more beets more carrots more onions turnips rutabaga more greens so more kale more swiss chard bug choy broccoli brussels sprouts all of that stream beans green beans snow peas like we want to make sure spinach we want to make sure that we are adding so many greens to our diet and then on top of greens we want to add more colors so red onions bell peppers carrots sweet potato we just want to make sure we're getting a lot of colors into our diet root vegetables help us feel a lot more centered and grounded hence they are root vegetables they're supposed to keep you at the grounded at the core like help you feel very centered and then all the other green vegetables and colorful vegetables gives you nutrients and more energy they sprout up they blossom they bloom so it's designed to make us feel a lot more vibrant we gotta be adding a lot of that to our diet and you can add those in sauteed dishes rice bowls you can add it into pasta a plant-based taco with it you could just have just the vegetables straight like that i love that personally i love to steam my vegetables add a little rice and then i'm good or steam 
take my vegetables add a potato and i'm good that always just makes a meal very complete and warm and cozy and flavorful it's so delicious so yes highly recommend we need to be consuming more fruits in this season more fruits that are packed with vitamin c so oranges grapefruits lime lemon clementines tangerines anything like that way more antioxidants so more berries and i'm talking all the berries so strawberry raspberry blackberry blueberry all the berries we need that because the antioxidants helps build our body's defense mechanism it helps our body stay more strong and resilient against colds against inflammation against stress anxiety that's what we need we need tons of antioxidants tons of nutrients tons of colors so we want to just eat more root vegetables more colors more greens and making sure every single plate is green and colorful because green and colorful is cold for nutrients and nutrients <laughs> nutrients and nutrients and that's what we want more herbs 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 we need to be taking ashwagandha she's great for anxiety and mood swings we also want to be incorporating bergamot chamomile we can have chamomile tea lavender i like to burn um lavender oil in my oil diffuser or i also like to just light a lavender candle or a bergamot candle and i also like to burn like a cedar candle anything with cedar or sandalwood in it it just has a warm and cozy feeling to it and it literally makes you feel a lot more calm so making sure that you're just lighting candles you're burning oils you're tuning in you are feeling centered and grounded and stabilized because it's easy it's easy in these winter cold months that we start feeling down and sad and depressive and that's what it does like oh like all the darkness the coldness it just tends to make you feel isolated and we're not isolated we're not alone we have ourselves we have family we have friends we have a community we have our journal we have our self-care routine we got a lot of support here we got a lot of support we are not doing this by ourselves and if you are doing it by yourself you are more than enough to get this done and to get through the season so that's what's happening we're gonna get through this so for supplements we want to make sure that we're taking probiotics probiotics adds the good bacteria back into our gut and that's what we need we need a healthy balance of bacteria in our gut we also need vitamin d3 and k2 that's great for like boosting our serotonin levels and also protecting and giving the calcium in our body which makes our bones stronger and our bodies more resilient we need the then my personal favorite lately has been magnesium magnesium has improved my quality of thoughts i think a lot better i'm a lot more energized i take it right before bed and it helps with muscle recovery and it makes my body feel so much lighter in the mornings i wake up and i'm like ah. whether you work out a lot or not um i work out about two to three times a week so it's not too crazy and my body isn't sore often but i'll take magnesium no matter what because it just helps the quality of my sleep and i like the way it feels and it also helps my mental health um it just helps me think a lot better and i who doesn't want to think better also i recommend many blood builders to any of my anemic girlies i am anemic so my iron levels are always low iron pills make me super constipated very uncomfortable but many blood builders doesn't do that many blood builders increases your iron without the constipation effects without the weird side effects or you just constantly feeling bloated i really like that so i always stick to like that instead and i feel like many blood builders are a more natural remedy than the prescribed iron pills so that's my go-to a lot of my clients swear by the many blood builders because it's a lot of women we're anemic a lot of us are anemic especially during that time of the month many blood builders come in and they help with like the steak cravings always craving meat when your period is about to come many blood builders help all of that it is essentially our body's way of saying hey i need more iron so many blood builders come in and help us with the iron we love that and then we also need zinc zinc is really good for like metabolism making sure that our metabolism is working we're digesting our food properly and it also helps with immune function so just making sure that our immune system is healthy and strong and active and it gets back to like protecting us that's what we want we want things to protect us okay so light therapy if you can like just small things like this like i like to just sit in the sun i like to sunbathe sometimes i'll get completely undressed and spread my legs open and sunbathe it's such a great 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 feeling highly recommend ladies i like to just make sure that i'm getting in 
my vitamin D. So if you cannot sit directly under the light, that's okay. Go outside, spend some time in nature. Make sure, also absolutely wear your sunscreen. <laughs> Need that. Wear your sunscreen, but make sure that you're spending time outside. You wanna get outside before four o'clock. You wanna make sure that you're still having a some sort of relationship with the sun. Next, we just need light therapy. So this could look like a vitamin D light or a sun lamp. And it should not cost you no more than $30, $40 for you to get like a low light. They sell them on Amazon and you can just but pop it there and it increases the serotonin levels in your body, which if you don't know, is the feel good hormone. And we need that. We need our serotonin levels to be up, dopamine levels to be up. So that's where movement comes into play. And just making sure that our hormone levels are high so we're not feeling low and depressive or anything like that. So yes, highly recommend a vitamin D light during these times. It's getting too dark too early and the vitamin D light and the sun lamp kind of comes in and gives us that boost of light that we need. Next, I wanna talk about quality sleep and that looks like having a nighttime routine. I personally like to tune into mind, body, soul every single night. So my mind, I like to meditate for 10 minutes and I like to read for 20 minutes. Body, this is where I like to stretch before bed or lately what I've been doing a lot is massaging my feet and my calves and my ankles. Just massaging myself, massaging my wrists because I do a lot of typing, a lot of texting, making sure that I'm massaging my forearms for my wrists just I like to massage my body at night I like to take my time put lotion on my feet put my little socks on it's just a whole little ritual that I enjoy and that my body enjoys so I like to do that so absolutely have a nighttime routine I one thing that changed the quality of my nighttime routine was placing my phone on the outside of the room investing into an alarm clock this way I'm not consistently scrolling right before bed I'm not scrolling as soon as I wake up it just helped me reduce my screen time completely so less screen time more me time let's screen time more me time let's screen time more me time like that's exactly how that goes so i absolutely recommend having a nighttime routine that feels like love that feels like joy it allows you to just wind down because that's the goal also we just need better sleep so our bodies can have more energy our bodies can be more relaxed and it, sleep is our recovery so whether we had a stressful day long day emotional day sleep is our body's opportunity to just rest and we need that we need a solid seven to nine hours of sleep depending on your lifestyle let me get some water let me get some water oh the light Oh, look at the light trying to, look at the light trying to run away from me. Oh, we here though. We here. Next, we absolutely need to be going to therapy. If you do not have a therapist, I highly recommend looking for one, making that your main priority for this season. Therapists and therapy, it's just space for your emotions to roar, to sing, to scream, to cry. It is an open space for you to communicate what you're going through, what's going on in your life. And it's psychological and cognitive behavioral help that allows you to really, really look at your actions, look at your trauma, unpack it and heal from it. If you have Medicaid and you don't know where to start, try it out with Valera Health app. This is not a sponsored video a lot of my clients and my personal friends have gotten into Valera Health and they absolutely love it. I have Valera Health. I've been seeing my therapist for a year now. She is awesome. Thank you so much. She helps me affirm myself, believe in myself more, and also validate myself. Like she helps me validate how I feel all the time and that's important. We don't really need somebody else to validate us, you know? Oh, look at me. I'm trying to do anything to get into the sun. I'm trying to do anything. I mean... It is what it is. It's about to go. Also guys, spend time in nature as often as you can. I like to go on morning walks. They feel so, so good and they help me check in with my thoughts and the movement and just being outside. It's really beautiful. Like today I had a moment where I was walking outside and I'm like, the seasons really, really do change. Hence the reason why our movements need to change. Hence the reason why our self-care needs to change every season. Like what I do in the summertime is very different than 
than what I do in the winter time. How I eat in the summertime is very different than how I eat in the winter. My workouts, everything is a lot different because the winter demands us to slow down, hibernate, eat warmer foods, do slower exercises, and that's essentially how we check in with our bodies. So as far as movement goes in the winter time, I really like yoga, Pilates. It's something about moving slow and really tuning in with your body that allows me to kind of like check in with myself. Like, okay, she's achy. She needs a little bit more love. We have to massage her. Like it just, it, I love it so much. I like more high intensity hit workouts, boxing, things like that in the summertime. I like swimming in the summer, I like rollerblading in the summer, in the spring. But when it comes down to like fall and winter, those slow, dynamic, really tuning in type of movements bar is another great alternative bar is like ballet meets pilates it's that perfect little combo so i do recommend bar classes when it comes down to movement i recommend everyone to move a lot more mindfully and that looks like checking in with what feels good for you like what's genuinely joyful what i like to tell a lot of my clients is to think back to your childhood what type of movements did you love when you was a child stick to that Personally me, I absolutely love jump roping. So I try to jump rope or I really, really, really love running. You'll see me doing like a hit workout or like running on a treadmill. No, 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 I never like to run, I'm lying. I, I did like to run, I, I like to play tag. So I guess I like to do like sports type of workouts. I don't really like to get on a treadmill. I just feel like running and stuff like that is so heavy on my joints but i do like to do like little drills like nfl drills things like that like i like to like i like to feel like i'm doing something so those are my type of workouts but yeah just making sure that you're finding workouts that feel joyful to you because we don't want our workouts to feel like a chore and we don't want to be dragging our feet to it like ah, gotta work out ah. because then you're not having a good relationship with your body we want to be happy and joyful. Our workout should be something that we look forward to. So if you are really, really not working out and you're not enjoying your workouts, it's because you're not finding the right type of movements that feel good for your body. Next is hydration. We need to be drinking more water. Always have a glass near you or a bottle near you. I recommend always, always having water around because when we are dehydrated, we are more susceptible to anxiety attacks and mood swings. And that's why a lot of the times when we are angry or emotional or worked up, a lot of the times we really need to practice deep breathing and we need some water. Water not only hydrates us, but it literally calms us down. We are less likely to freak out when we are well hydrated. One little thing is I like to keep a cup around me. I like to add a little lemon in here. And I also like to keep a bottle around me no matter where I go. So I always recommend that. What's going on with this sun? You know what, I'ma just, I'ma just say normal. It is what it is, the sun went away. Last but not least, that girl is not the least, absolutely tuning in with a spiritual practice. We need it. I'm always saying mind, body, soul, mind, body, soul, but really and truly, how are you feeding your soul? How are you tapping into who you are on the inside and making sure that you're watering her and taking care of her or him or they? So just making sure that you're like, okay, what is my soul need? Sometimes our soul needs a really good laugh or a long bath or a prayer or meditation or affirmations or just a journaling session making sure that you're checking in with the inside you for real like I like to do my affirmations I'm a girl that affirmations and talking just isn't enough for me I need to add movement to my affirmations once I started doing that it took my affirmation and my spiritual practice to the next level I will stretch and be like I am so strong and resilient and powerful and productive I am intelligent I am smart I am creative I can do anything I say I want to do oh I want to make ten thousand dollars a month oh thank you so much for already putting that into my account let me stretch this out let me lean into this 10k like that is how i talk to myself i really do it's only one me uh, and we we can't do this life shit all over again so it's only me and i like to really really hone in on who i say i want to be and connecting with her i try to think like what type of habits 
does she have? Oh, she has a nighttime routine, a morning routine. She spends time in nature. She drinks a lot of water. She takes her supplements. She eats a ton of fruits and veggies. These are the type of things that she does. So how can I align with my higher self, my higher purpose? How can I stay connected to her? How can my daily habits flirt with who she trying to be? Like all of that, I just try to make sure I'm doing that. And it has made such a huge, huge difference in being sad. It's made such a huge difference in my mental health, especially during these colder winter months. So I don't know who needed to hear this. Hopefully one of these tips hit you, they helped you. You would like, oh, I didn't know I need magnesium. She write about a nighttime routine. I definitely need to be adding more ginger. I could go for a little bit more kale in my diet. Like whatever it is that you took away from this, how many things that you have already tried before. If you are looking to join a wellness community, I do have a membership called the Holistic Homies membership. If you wanna be a holistic homie, please sign up. It's $5 a month and it's exclusive wellness blogs, recipes, videos, anything that I'm doing, I'm putting it right on there. And I'm also hosting monthly workshops. So every single month is a different workshop. October was all about plant-based eating and eating for the fall season. Next month in November is gonna be all about sad season and also just making sure that we're staying healthy and having good holistic habits during the holiday season. Oh, nah, nah, nah. All the H's, holistic habits, holiday season, okay? And if you are looking for a nutritionist, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. This looks like one hour where we meet every two weeks to really deep dive into your diet, to deep dive into your eating habits, eating trauma, emotional eating habits, and most importantly, designing a meal plan for you, specifically for you, your lifestyle, your diet and your wellness goals. I want to help you eat better. I want to help you live better. I want to help you build the right habits and the right connection with our bodies and our food. And if you just need help with one or two things, I highly recommend booking a nutrition consultation. If you have no idea where to start when it comes down to gut health, making sure that you're eating right, taking the right probiotics, you're looking for the right holistic therapies to take care of your gut, check out my gut health ebook. It is all about gut health. It has a full shopping list along with a three-day gut detox to help you reset your body that is $15 and available on my website I also offer a plant-based guide this looks like a food shopping list with meal ideas for breakfast lunch and dinner and also snack ideas this way you can get more comfortable with making every single meal a little bit more plant-based a little bit more green a little bit more colorful a little bit more nutritious so that plant-based guide is perfect for beginners if you walk into a grocery store and you're like I don't even know where to start the plant-based ebook shows you what you need to be buying in bulk what you need to be buying that's or organic and what you need to be buying to always have in your fridge no matter what so highly recommend that guide as well yes yeah, so that is it for this video please like comment share please comment below tell me what's hitting for you what's not hitting for you please check out my services i offer nutrition consultations check out my ebook i am about to drop an ebook called food and feelings and it's all about emotional eating how we need to be eating when certain emotions come up and vice versa once certain emotions come up how we need to start taking care of it in holistic ways so guys that is all for now please show the kids some love i'm so happy to be dropping these videos i've been saying i really really want to do this so this is really happening this is really happening this is this is uh, this is really happening ah, 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 happening ah. I get way too excited. But yes, y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. See you at the next one. Later.